Welcome back. Back, both parents and educators know that every child learns differently, and our next guest has made it his mission to help find the best teaching solutions for students. And David Yuri is the president of Lighthouse Christian mm -hmm. School, and appreciate you being here. Welcome to okay. the show. For those who may not know about Lighthouse mm -hmm. Christian School, tell, tell folks about it and how you guys are, are different than other schools out there. Well, there are a lot of schools, a lot of choices for families around, and I wanted to say right up front, I think public school is great. Sometimes people think, well, if you're a private school, you don't like public schools. Both of my older children graduated from public school. We are a Christian school, but we're different than most Christian schools because we're not the traditional college prep. Our student that we're designed for is the one that's falling behind the one that's just not doing great. Maybe they're distracted with other things. Maybe they don't learn the same way. And unfortunately, they start feeling like there's something wrong with them. I must be dumb. I must be stupid. Why can't I learn? And that's the number one question I have, especially from young men when they come, say, well, am I going to be with the stupid kids? Because sometimes in the traditional education, they've been put in a special class. So what we do is we're pure Christian school, but we help that child learn differently. The question how so? Is, when you say differently, how do, how do you do that? Well, uh, the way I say is most schools do what I call the box teaching, and it, great, it works great for most kids. That's the way I learn. Most people do that you teach the same information to the students at one time. But you have that one child that's sitting over the side. He's just like, oh, what's going on over here? What's this? They're just not getting it. They're kind of going, getting bored. They fall behind. So we try to find out which way each child learns, and we individualize. It doesn't mean we teach one-on-one -on -one in the classroom, but we uh, have small groups in the classroom. So each group is learning the way they learn at the speed they learn. So traditionally you may have a student come to us in the sixth grader and they are able to do the sixth grade work but on a fourth or fifth grade level. So we find out how they are, the type of learner they are, and teach them where they are and the way they are. It's the individualized exactly. approach. That extra touch really makes, I'm sure, yes. a huge difference yeah. with the students. Let's talk about the McKay Scholarship for people at home who might not know mm -hmm. what that is. Talk about that and do you accept that? We do accept the McKay. It's called the John McKay Scholarship. It's put out by the state of Florida. Any student that is in the public school with an IEP, which means Individual Education Plan, if they've been put in the special classes, uh, that student would automatically qualify for the McKay Scholarship and that generally pays for all the expenses once they come with us. Uh, the total expenses are 8200 but we try to work with families. Our goal is not to get rich but to help the children so instead of telling them there's all these extra funds we try to work with the f uh, families as much as we possibly can. No, I love uh, that you said you're, you're working with kids to find out how they learn and teach exactly. them how they learn because it's just now we're getting into that where people are understanding, hey, we all learn in different ways and I'm really, really happy to see schools adjusting to that. Is it class size and is it a smaller class size that allows you guys to do this and a you know, better teacher-student ratio? Yes, it's, and I'll say also it's some special teachers we have because it is it's very difficult. I'm not smart enough to do what I pay people to do. I'll say that right <laughs> up front. Uh, our teachers will have about nine in the younger elementary. They'll go up to around 13 in the class for the older elementary. And then our middle school and our high school classes will go up to about 16. So it's a lot different than some of the 30, 40, 45 that yeah. you may see in the traditional education system. And then on top of that, we train our teachers. We, of course, they have a four-year degree when they come to us, but we do specialized training uh, because we'll have teachers come to us and say, I've been teaching for years. I know how to do this. And after a few months ago, wait, this is not what I've been used to doing. That's why we have how our own way. Right? Yes. <laughs> how refreshing is that to introduce that to the students? Where are you guys located? We have eight locations around town. Uh, our student does not do well in one location. Uh, if we had five, six, seven hundred students in one location, they would get overwhelmed, not just by class size being too large, but also by the campus being too large. So we have eight locations where Arlington, Callahan, Dinsmore, Mandarin, Middleburg, Northside, Orange Park, and Westside. So around town, and each campus is smaller, anywhere from about 55 up to about 125 students. So you spread out pretty well. And what about the, the grade range? What grades do we you We go guys? from first grade through 12th grade. Uh, many, like I say, many of our students come in not where they're supposed to be, and we know that some will graduate and go on to a traditional college, but most don't. Most will go on to some sort of a technical school, a trade school, or maybe the local college. That's where most of our students Man, go. Look at what welders are getting nowadays. Tell I mean, me about it. Some, yeah, I'm in the wrong profession. I look at like you know, and so trying to prepare them, not yes. necessarily for the four-year degree, but for really just to be exactly. successful in life. Uh, if people are watching and they want to come and take a tour maybe or ask more questions because there's only so much time that sure. we can get in here in five minutes. Can I'd I do that? Yes, I'd recommend everyone to go to our website, mm -hmm. lighthousechristianschool.net, and on there it makes it very easy. You can click and you can send an email directly to any individual campus. You can get directions to it. You can find which campus is closest to you, and we'd love to have any parent come out, see what's going on, see if we're the right fit for them. Good to see you, David. Appreciate you Thank you. Us. Thank you.
And we'd like to thank Lighthouse Christian School for making this segment possible. And for more information, you can visit lighthousechristianschool.net or call 904-549-5500 to book a tour at one of the eight campuses around town.